swap just claim responsibility in a do state now they are still claiming responsibility of police vehicle in on those states again this is not a do state to a do state is a different one now they are still claiming responsibility and um, but you know that uh, the our uh, massacre the federal government just told us that it was a uh, e-swap and people have been saying normally the way e-swap operates they will always claim responsibility but today they have never said anything now even in Kogi State, they've claimed responsibilities close to almost or five times. And they have waited for like, you know, four times, almost in a month. And they claimed the responsibility and it was really, um, they, it was, they were boastful about it. And the federal government didn't say anything. The Kogi State governor didn't say anything. I just, I was just wondering that if they claim responsibility of what happened, what they did in Kogi State, they automatically they're already in the south what is the difference between the south and the people from kogi state and nobody said anything as if it was just a, a normal thing now they are now in in the south and claim, claiming that their presence claiming rest, their presence in southwest what do you have to say to that according to iswap in a statement seen by sahara reporters the attack which was carried out by soldiers of the caliphate occurred in equally or war local government area of the state it claimed the fighters targeted an operational vehicle of the police with machine guns even this uh, unknown government they are talking about the police uh, what is it called what is a police station that they've been destroying they will tell you it is ESA maybe they are just trying to disguise so that they will not even put eye on them because you can't even tell me that it is they, I don't even believe it's hyper because many times IPOB has come out to deny and debunk that, that they know nothing about it and i said the way terrorists behave the way they act they are always boastful of what they do they, they are not afraid because to them it is an ego that we did this and nothing the government could do Buhari will never be hungry when these people are operating but when it comes to hyper bsn oh it will be it will be blowing hot the soldiers will be blowing hot but when all these people are doing whatever they are doing it does not even it doesn't seem it doesn't feel it well it's claimed the fighters are targeted an operational vehicle of the police with machine gun which led to its damage the group was however silenced on if there was a casualty or not the attack if truly executed by iswap could be a hint that the terror group in making an incursion into the south western parts of nigeria iswap had claimed expansion into abuja kogi and saraba in the last six months it may in may 2022 the group said it was behind an explosion that rocked the asian town kaba in the kogi west Territorial district kaba is the headquarters of the kaba bunu local government area and the people speak a dialect of yoruba called owe the town is less than 10 minutes from akunu akoko and akowa Ajowa, Akoko in Ondo State and less than 20 minutes from Omuo in Ikiti State. When Sahara reporters called Fumilayo Odunlami, spokesperson for Ondo State Police Command, she did not answer nor return the calls. A text message sent to her, sent to her mobile line, had not been replied to at, at the time of filing this report. The terrorists were said to have detonated explosives in the church after which they proceeded to fire shots at the congregation the nigerian government swiftly said the attack was likely carried out by iswap but the state government said it had reservations about the claim interior minister rao arigbechola told journalists after a national security council meeting that we have been able to locate the imprint of the perpetrators of the attack and from all indications we are zeroing it on the Islamic State of West Africa and ISWAP. On August 19, Lucky Irabo, chief of defense staff, said gunmen behind the attack have been arrested. Who are they? Nobody knows. Up to now, nobody knows. <laughs> yeah. Don Shelley. When a nation continues to politicize critical sectors of governance, issues like this keep emanating left right and center terrorism is spreading like wildfire in and across the country but nigeria army are recruiting repentant boko haram into military and ipop and namdekano is the problem of nigeria it is very sad indeed open grazing is the way into other regions of the country 
the federal government should ban open grazing. Which federal government? Is it the same body that is telling you that uh, they can't even stop them? That uh, uh, it's like the so-called s men are being marginalized because there are a lot of lands in olden days that uh, because of development they've built across their road path that they where they used to move from one place to another. So it's defending them that they have been marginalized by building on the roads on the path that they usually pass that there must be open grazing so what are we talking about that they should just go and clear all of those places even if you have a beautiful road or whatever whatever development you think must have occurred in that road path that they usually pass what we are invariably saying is that they should just want to demolish all those things so that they can keep doing those roads for those s men to be moving from one point to the other so is it the same government, federal government you are calling to come and to ban what? <laughs> time is running out of them. The time they gave them to Islamize Nigeria is coming to an end. Odudua Nation people, wake up. Biafrans are already up. Mazenam Bekano has already finished work. He has made everything easy for Odudua and Biafra. And it baffles me when some Yoruba uh, regards so much attacks on Igbo because of the ESM. <laughs> and some people appealing to nigerian christians not to worry about a muslim muslim presidential ticket okay make them no fear make them no hear round for my mouth to say baba Gbado has brought his religious kinsmen okay well, we don't hear ipop heard you esn heard you ndigbo heard you god bless those protecting a like book for us so just a reminder that Sinubu will be handling the economy. Why Shetima will be handling security? What does that tell you? What does that tell you? And that is how they have, they have arranged it. And APC has not come out, especially Tinubu media or support group, that to, to say, because according to constitution, that is not the job of the vice president. And he has, they have already said it. Meaning that Tinubu will not be able to do that, whether because of age or because of any other thing. He said he's going to do that. It has never happened before. <laughs> and some people from the southwest are jubilating. Now we go take her. Our local Kosinka to Mashele. Baba Luma Wale. Let them continue. Any little thing, Igbo is their problem. Any little thing they will be calling Igbos. Of course, they have this affiliation with the North. So I'm not even surprised. I'm not surprised. And I don't know the relationship with them. Just a reminder that Inubu will be handling the economy well. Tinubu terror in Lagos is more than Boko Haram, Iswap, or whatever. Nobody should think. Oh, all those will say they go get hey, I love the don't run. What the other side be? <laughs> okay, Nigeria sitting on a gunpowder and can explode anytime. Anyone supporting one Nigeria is digging his or her grave. Let us end Nigeria to save lives. And some blind fellows are still saying nothing is wrong with a Emilio Khan presidential ambition. Wait and see, Somalia might be better than that region by the time Shetima gains ground. Nam the Kano, indeed, you are, you are the prophets of the Most High. I hope the Eastern governors will see this. What's he, do? What's he doesn't want to do? They're not going to do nothing. Forget them. I'm talking about a, a governors. You're talking about all those a, a, a Eastern governors. The only person that is even speaking in the South is only Akele Dulu. The rest ones, forget it. Is it a the representative God, the representative, the governor represent a representative? What's his name? Sangolu, or is it a, the one a lady, a lady of a Ogun state, governor of Ogun state, or is it a Makinde, or is it a Tinubu's cousin? Oye Tola, who else again is among them? If I hear me, oh. okay. Oh. So, all of them, they are, they are not bothered. Where is where are all these Yoruba people that uh, always call out of their hosts whenever IPOP and Biafra are mentioned? Now, over to you people. Out of hatred, you will be consumed by terrorists if time is not taken. <laughs> I PC my own people supporting Muslim Muslim tickets. Our Catholic Church attack should send you a brief signal. They don't forget it. In, in 1823, a Yoruba leader by name Afonja, who was aspiring for a leadership position invited Alimi, the Fulani uh, interest preacher in Ilori, to help him secure the position. Afonja was helped to remove the then king, and Alimi turned around and killed his friend Afonja, who invited him. 
and the rest is history. Next year, 2023, will make 200 years that the Yoruba lost the learning to the early means. Uh, in history, we talk about the uh, secular nature of history, which means that history always repeats itself. Yoruba should be careful of Tinubu, the 21st century alimi of Yoruba land, who, for political aggrandizing, can struck deal with the devil at the detriment of his people. You see why Buari refused to approve the request to properly arm Southwest security outfits. Hmm, and that's it. And see what they have done in Casina City. The exact thing Sunday Igbo was trying to prevent. The arm is to rig election or be used for election. They don't even mean well. They came to fight those against their own candidates. So guys, now let's take your opinion and have your take on this.